Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to paint this beautiful boat painting in simple 4 step. Now let's get started. Now let's see the requirements of this painting. I have given all the art material link in the description. Now in the step 1 we are going to paint the sky and the water. So let's start with the sky. So we are going to paint the glow around the moon. So here we are going to mix the color viridian with white and we are going to paint the circle. So this circle will be the glow around the moon. Now I am going to mix the color viridian with the ultramarine blue. And now let's mix the colors together and we are going to blend them. You can use any filbert brush or flat brush to mix the colors. And here I am using my flat brush to blend the colors. And in this painting I am going to paint the glow something like a green color. And I really like this glow so that's why I in this painting I choose this one. Gradually I am going to increase the amount of the blue. So we will have a nice and beautiful glow in the center and the dark sky in the corner. Now we are going to apply the color ultramarine blue in the entire canvas like this. So now let's enjoy the process. In this painting we are going to paint a beautiful and huge lake. So this lake will reflect the colors in the sky. So we are going to use the same colors in our lake. So now let's start the colors and play with the colors. So here in the center we are going to use the color viridian. And around it we are going to apply the color blue. And we are going to mix the blue and the viridian. So now we are mixing the colors and we are going to blend them. When we work in a huge surface like this, then at the time we have to choose the big size flat brush so we can easily blend the colors before they dry. So here I use the same flat brush to blend the colors. Like the sky, we just need the glow in the center. So here we are painting the reflection in the water. That's why we are going to paint the glow only in the center of the lake and we are going to apply the dark colors around it. Once we finish painting the background, now let's enter into the second step. In the second step, we are going to paint the star. So here I am using my detailing brush. I am putting some small random dots here and there. So this is the first step for the star. Now let's paint a small circle in the center of the glow and we are going to fill this circle with a white color so this will be our moon. We are going to take our flat brush and mix some water with the paint and we are going to splash the color in the canvas like this so we are going to have a plenty of stars in the sky. In the third step, we are going to paint the tree. So let's take the color black. So first we are going to paint the ground. So here I take my flat brush and I just paint the ground first. And I am going to block the colors for the ground. And later we can continue with many details in this painting. So let's apply the color for the ground first. So here I am using my flat brush. And now let's take a small detailing brush. And we are going to paint the tree trunk first. So once we finish them, then we can continue with the leaf foliage. Now let's paint the leaf foliage. So here I am using my hard bristle brush and I am going to tap the colors like this. So in this painting you can see the corner of the canvas especially is really dark so I couldn't see the colors. But it's okay we have to apply the color for the trees here. Now let's paint more trees in the center. So here now we can see the trees visible and we are going to add more tree trunk and leaf foliage in this painting in this place. And now let's add more leaf foliage in the center. So this is the first step and we are going to add more details later. So now let's enjoy the process and add more leaf foliage and make the painting more interesting and beautiful. Now we are painting the moon reflection in the leaves. So here we take the color viridian and we are going to tap the colors here. So before that you have to check whether the first layer is completely dry then you can apply the viridian color here. And now I am using the same hot bristle brush to paint the leaf foliage and the texture of the bush. If you don't have a hot bristle brush to paint the texture of the trees then no problem you can use your normal synthetic brush. Before take the colors just to split the end of the bristle then you can take the colors and apply them like this. Now you can see I am adding more white to this viridian and now we are painting the lightest viridian on the top of the trees. So in this place particularly the lights hit also we are painting the reflection and the light value in the tree trunk and here I am using my detailing brush to add the small tiny details and lines. So now we are going to paint the reflection on water. So here I am using my normal 
flat brush and I am going to draw the line. So here we first we are using the color dark blue. So we mix the color ultramarine blue with black to get the dark shade of blue. And here I am using my flat brush to paint the lines. If you don't have a flat brush then you can use your normal round brush to draw the lines. Now let's paint the viridian with white and we are going to use the color here. Now let's take the color white and we are going to apply the color white in the center like this. Now I am adding more details in the water here. So here we are using the same viridian color and now we are going to paint the board. So here I already traced the image of the board. You can get the image of the board in the description and now we are going to apply the color. So here I mix the color burn Sina with orange and I am going to apply the color inside the board first. So here we use the color something like a bright orange brown shade. Now let's mix the color brown with the black and we are going to apply the color here. Now let's paint the details in the board. So here I mix the color burn Sina with the orange and we are going to apply the colors for the details. And now let's apply the details. If you are someone who really likes to paint the sea shape scenery then you will really like this playlist. In this playlist I have given different types of sea shape scenery with a step by step explanation. Now let's paint the human. So here first we start with the hair and then we are going to paint the shirt. So in this painting I just made a very simple character. So I just going to paint the shirt and pant like this and we are going to add some little details in this character. If you are new to my channel, let me introduce myself. I am Rexana. I am an acrylic painting artist. I love to paint with acrylics. Here I am sharing my painting knowledge with beginners. If you find my tutorials are easy and helpful, then please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on my Instagram and other social media platforms. Now we are painting the reflected light from the lamp. Now we are going to paint the lamp. So here I am using the color black and we are going to paint a very tiny and minute detail here. That's why I am using my detailing brush. Now let's paint the shadow of the boat. So here we are using the color black to paint the shadow. And now take the color viridian and add some small lines here. In the final touch of this painting we are going to paint the oats. So first we need to draw a line using the color black. Now take the color orange and we are adding the color orange here. So this is from the light from the lamp. You can see this painting we just used the very simple technique. And now let's see the complete look. I really like this painting. I will meet you guys with another beautiful painting with a step by step instruction. Until then have fun with colors.